guys kitchen is a mess because I'm in the midst of cleaning um, tonight is um, tonight well today is um, John's mum's birthday and um, we're having all the family round to us for dinner um, there's eight people in total and apart from Jonathan and I we they are all meat eaters and proper meat eaters however they do eat fish which is great so I'm cooking fish tonight and I'm just telling you now because um, I probably won't be able to show you once they get here because yeah and so what I'm planning on doing tonight is I'm planning on steaming um, salmon fillets so we'll all have a salmon sal salmon I can't even speak um, a salmon fillet each and then to go with that um, sorry <laughs> haven't even started sorting anything out yet so um, got in under here got a load of um bread rolls and then back in the kitchen um and i'm doing a salad with it this is from the river cottage veg book the hugh fernley whitting store book which i absolutely love if you've watched any of my vlogs before i always talk about this book because this book is just my go-to book i could not be without it um so it's ironic really it's a fresh free salad nissoise and then i'm obviously doing salmon with it but i thought it kind of caters to everyone and um it's so it's got sat lettuce and olives and potatoes green beans and it's really lovely we've had it before um so i've got everything kind of ready i've got my potatoes i've got my green beans my eggs over there um so i need to assemble that as my lettuce so i need to assemble that and i also bought in case this doesn't turn out to be enough i mean this jonathan and i or john and i will we will eat this on its own as a meal um you know between two but in case there's not enough to go around us all i mean i have doubled the recipe but i'd rather do too much than too little when i've got guests coming round. Um, and whatever's left, John and I will just have it for leftovers. Um, so I bought a packet of this. And then if it turns out that there's not enough food, then I've got this on hand. It's just some of that Merchant Gourmet uh, Moroccan couscous that I can just zap in the microwave. And that is tonight's dinner. Hopefully with the fish and this will be tasty enough for avid meat eaters. But that's the sort of thing that we do when we've got guests coming. Oh, um, my brother-in-law, my brother and sister, my brother-in-law and his wife, um, they're bringing starters and pudding, so I have no idea what they're bringing, but obviously, you, apart from starters, and they know we're vegetarian, can't really go wrong that way. So that's a snippet of what we do, um, or the sort of meal that we would cook for having company um, on a, on a, on a midweek meal. So Tuesday night, we've just got a really, really quick, easy uh, dinner because it's been a, oh, it's misting up. It's been a, a busy, busy work day and we've got to go out in a bit to take all the girls to the vets. So we've literally just got some pasta covered in um, a pesto sauce. The pesto we use is um, the uh, Sackler one. And then there's loads left that we can have for our lunch tomorrow. Tonight's Wednesday 30th of April. All of tonight's recipes come from the Appetite for Reduction. Um, just to show you the cover there. I, I don't really know how you pronounce this lovely lady's uh, name. Is it Isa Chandra Moskowitz? Anyway, she's also written the Veganomicon. That's the book if you want to pick one up. Mine has been very well worn as you can see. So tonight for dinner we are having jerk asparagus and with that we are having let's turn to the page caribbean curried black eyed peas but rather than plant plantains which i'm just using banana which i know is not exactly the same but um the recipe does say to substitute with um sweet potatoes but I've decided to, to, to substitute with a banana. So yes, that's 
Caribbean curried black eyed peas with um, the jerk asparagus, which he does say to team it with. And then we're also having the, um, so to serve it with rice, um, having the tilde lime and coriander rice, which you just zap in the microwave. I saw this in the shop today and they were on offer. So I thought, why, why not give it a try? So it's just finishing up cooking and um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And that is what it looks like all plated up. So yeah, looks quite nice. Guys, that was absolutely amazing, if I do say so myself. So, oh my word, absolutely gorgeous. So, if you get an opportunity, get that book because this recipe was scrumptious. Would you agree? Yeah, it was very nice. The mystery agrees. So, yeah, get that book. It's delish. Clear plates that must have been good. Tonight's dinner, which is Thursday, comes from the um, River Cottage Veg Every Day by Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. You see me mention this lots of times, this cookbook, and I will continue to mention it loads because I love it. Um, so tonight we are having, and it's slowly cooking away, but there's the mess, which is partly why kind of you have asked for actual like cooking demonstration videos and yeah look at the mess so i'm not sure if i'll be doing those or not anyway tonight's dinner we are having a chard and ricotta tart which is a little bit quiche like um now it says it serves four to six i've done two pies so that's four um it would definitely serve six i mean i have more pastry left i don't make my own pastry i buy because i'm absolutely horrendous and i'm proper horrendous at making pastry um so yeah there's plenty of pastry left and there's plenty of the cream and ricotta mix i didn't buy enough of the chard um that the recipe says i don't know why i obviously didn't write down when i went shopping how much the recipe should have had in it so it would definitely do you know three small pies which is which serves six or you know so there we go. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the dietary um, merits of this meal though, but you know, there we go. Because it's got ricotta cheese, um, double cream, but I substituted that for single cream, and whole milk, which I substituted for um, skimmed milk. So I'll try to make a few changes there, but so I hope that isn't. Um, uh, compromise the integrity of the recipe but that's what the picture looks like in the book anyway and of course as usual I will show you what ours looks like when it's done so that's what the pie or tart that looks like once it's cooked and then this is what it's like on the plate and then we've just got some new potatoes and some green beans because I seem to be addicted to green beans at the moment but yeah that's what it looks like So for tonight, Friday, we've got um, leftover of the chard and ricotta tart, jack of potato and some broccoli. For lunch today, uh, Saturday, we've got sweet potato um, nachos. So in there's um, sliced baked sweet potato with black beans, cheese, um, spring onion, coriander and avocado and then just got some soured cream to serve. So tonight it's just a really quick pizza, um, goat cheese and caramelised red onion. Um, yummy! <laughs> 